Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and welcome to Miraculous Monday. Now, this week is gonna be really good, because when I was scrolling through the page, it was, like, pretty much all memes. There was one Instagram post, so we're just gonna skip that one, so I went down an extra one. Uh, but it should be really good. So, I have a piece of fan art today, and this one is from Tryon Trees. I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name, probably did. Uh, but thanks so much for sending that one in. Uh, so, yeah, let's hop right into this video. The wall between them. So, we've got Ladybug, Cat Noir with the wall, and then <laughs> Marinette and Adrian, and then the wall just keeps getting bigger as time goes by. Because this was first season, this was season two finale, this is season three, but then eventually the wall is just going to be, like, torn down. Eventually. So, we, we just gotta wait, we just gotta be patient. So I made this before I started watching the show based on the things my friend would tell me about it and honestly at this point if the reveal doesn't go like this I'll be upset. So we've got Cat Noir, Ladybug, and then Ladybug's just like oh I love Adrian and then he just <laughs> takes off his mask or costume and then Ladybug's like oh, whoa. I think that's one of the options that a lot of people want and that would be likely because Adrian would, I think I talked, I can't remember when I talked about this, but uh, Adrian, if he knew who Ladybug liked, then he would definitely reveal, like, he wants to, but he's just been respecting Ladybug's wishes, but I don't think he'd be able to control himself if he knew that Ladybug liked Adrian, so either that or he would go to Ladybug as Adrian and just try to spend more time with her as Adrian, so, uh, <laughs> This that's definitely something that Adrian would do so and I just don't think he'd be able to control himself if he knew who Ladybug liked so Yeah, well, I don't know if we can say who Ladybug liked anymore now that Luke is a big contester So we'll just have to see Thomas misread their tears of frustration The miraculous Ladybug team cried because they also watched it in Ukrainian and did not understand anything without the dub So did the miraculous Ladybug team know that this wasn't a very good episode either? like if they knew that, you'd think that they'd try to do something. But then again, at that point, if they have the whole episode complete and a lot of the dubs already complete, they can't just, like, send it back and be like, no, we need to redo it. So, like, if they mess up, that's that's they just gotta live with what they messed up on. So, I wonder if they realized after it was made that it was bad, but they were just like, oh, we just gotta live with it? I don't know. That'd be interesting to see the inside of how they feel about the episode from the team's perspective. That'd be interesting. Cheer up, heart. Made a quick sketch to comfort my heart after watching the Love Eater episode. Okay, so it's Marinette with her hair down, and then, uh, does, is this one, like, meant to represent Cat Noir? I don't know, maybe? The eyes are blue here. I don't know. Anyway, it's just Marinette with her hair down. So I think we'll be seeing, like, a lot, I mean, there's already been, like, a lot of fan art with Marinette with her hair down, but now, since it's, like, officially a thing that happened, I think we'll be seeing it more. So, that's something that we can expect to see in the future. He is either eating or talking when it happens. <laughs> Plag getting sucked into Adrian's ring. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He he is talking or eating. Adrian just doesn't give him any time. He's just like Plag spot or spots on. Uh, claws out, and then he just gets sucked up. It's funny. I love Plag. He's such a good character. The sad truth right now. School work. Miraculous Ladybug finale. Me just ignoring school and work, and then just going straight to the finale. That's funny. How many of you guys, like, skip class or just, like, are absent from school that day because of the Miraculous Ladybug finale? That'd be interesting. Like, uh, how many of you guys are like that? Let me know down in the comments. I'm scared, y'all. Not for the square, but for my soul. That feel when Miracle Queen is just in eight hours, but you still haven't fully recovered from Love Eater. I can't, not again. I'm not strong enough. Well, luckily for you, uh, Miracle Queen wasn't very good, <laughs> so it wasn't, I don't know, it just, I don't know, maybe maybe you thought it was good, and you, you were damaged from it, or something, but I didn't think it was, it wasn't anything too dramatic, honestly, it just kind of felt like another episode, which, it, Ladybug felt like a finale, and then the fina the actual finale felt like just another episode. So, uh, they should have been swipped, they, they just should have been swapped, because Ladybug would have made a much better finale in my opinion. Master Fu be like, Master Fu, when Ladybug pulls it off in Kwame Buster, you did it, you crazy person, you did it, yay. Uh, 
Because Master Fu was like, well, we better hope that she does pull it off, because if not, we're going to lose all the Miraculous. And then she did it. And then Master Fu was like, yeah, you're probably like the best Miraculous holder ever. So, uh, yeah. Master Fu, and a lot of people got mad at that scene at the very end for not, like, just he doesn't praise Cat Noir. I mean, he doesn't really do anything with Cat Noir, so uh, just people are just mad that Cat Noir doesn't do anything. So, uh, yeah. Mood. When you know that Adrianette will become canon for sure, but season four will start airing in the fall of 2020. Possibly. I we don't know. That's what Jeremy has said. But there's a possibility that it'll be earlier, so we can always hope. But we don't know. So there could actually be a hiatus this time. Because last, like, for, for between Season 2 and 3, there was a couple months, maybe, but they really got quick on airing it. So we'll just have to see how far they are in production with Season 4. So, yeah, I'm excited to see when we will see Season 4, and it better be good. Like, it better be really good. Because <laughs> if not, uh, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. Because they have so much that they could do. They've opened up so many doors, but they're just choosing to stay in the lobby. Like, go through another door. Uh, I don't know, we'll just see. Guys, you can't just throw them out in a jumbled mess anymore. Seasons 1 and 2 can be viewed in almost any order. Put long-term story arcs in Season 3, Network airs episodes out of order, Network airs episodes out of order. This is true, and especially if Season 4 is going along the more, like, story-driven pace, like, sort of like what Season 3 has been doing, They've really got to fix it. Like, Zag has just got to be like, you have got to air the episodes in order. Don't air the episodes. The thing with that is, we might have to wait a little bit longer to see the episodes. But honestly, I would rather wait than get spoiled. Like, that happened so much in the season. And I feel like it could have been a lot better if we didn't get spoiled from future episodes. And it's such a simple solution. It's just... The, the companies have got to care a little bit, and so far they haven't shown that they've cared, so we'll just have to see if they start being a little more strict on it next year. I don't know, let's just hope they are. I found this cute image on Pinterest, goes to show you how connected these two are. Never realized that original, inverted, they totally did this on purpose to show that they're meant to be. Okay, first of all, yes, they are meant to be. Second of all, I, I've seen this image before, and I feel like Thomas actually tweeted about it, something like that. He he did like a little smiley face or something. I can't remember exactly what he tweeted about it, but um, he, he did tweet about it in some way. But this is just, it's so funny that this is so true. Like, it's perfect. It, it's <sighs> just they're, they're meant to be. This is how you know that Adrianette's the OTP, so don't get don't get fooled by these intermission ships. The love square is the best, credits Zippy44. Innocent, cheeky, shy, competitive. Yeah, that's this is this is a really good representation of it. <laughs> I think this one is the funniest because they're both like uh that one episode Eve Illustrator, the scene where Cat Noir <laughs> the scene where Cat Noir shows up to Marinette's door. Marinette's just mocking him, and then Cat Noir is like, oh yeah, check out my muscles or whatever. And that scene was just so funny. I loved that scene. It was so funny. And then Where Dad kind of like broke that down, because then it's just kind of super awkward between the two. But when it's not awkward between the two, they make such a funny pair. So, uh, and then when um, Marinette it was, uh, shoot. I always get the, it's Lady Noir. Lady Noir. When she was Lady Noir... Uh, she was just super funny because she was just making fun of Cat Noir. She took on the role of Cat Noir, and I, I enjoyed that too. So I enjoy it when Ladybug's just, or I guess Marinette, is just fun and just kind of like being cheeky. So yeah, this is a good photo. I, I like this. LOL. Miraculous Ladybug staff saying the episode made them cry. The Miraculous Ladybug fandom watching the episode in Ukrainian. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, here's the thing, they, I think the part that they're talking about, because I think when they're talking, saying this episode, so, I don't know, I think they said that the finale, because there was some, it was like a long time ago, somebody from the team said that the episode might make fans cry, it may have actually been Jeremy or whatever, uh, 
but they were talking about the finale i remember specifically in that i don't know actually that other post that we talked about earlier that may have actually been legit uh, uh, anyway they said that fans might cry and I, I get the part in love eater at the very end with marinette i get that and then i also get the part sort of with master food but the way that miracle queen is executed i just didn't feel i didn't feel like master Fu. It, it just didn't make me emotionally sad when master Fu departed it, it felt like something that I, I don't know it's hard to explain i just can't I, it just didn't make me emotionally sad i knew it was coming and the way that they executed it just it wasn't in a dire situation I, th I mean it sort of was but not necessarily not enough in a way to where i would start to feel like super emotional about it so it was just the way that it was executed that i didn't like and i'm glad that we're starting to get memes about this because I, I don't know it's just funny it's spooky season i wonder who our couples will dress as okay so we've got <laughs> it's it's inverted here's the thing they can't do that though they can't dress inverted because they've already been like the, the other person there was a meme a couple weeks ago about <laughs> um adrian like looking back at uh shoot what was it? like frightened gale it was it was an image of him looking back with Marinette wearing the cat mask and then looking at uh, Lady Noir and be like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and I love that post because it's so true. So they can't do this anymore. So I I wonder what, I hope that we get to see some like Halloween based Instagram posts because that'd be pretty cool, I think, like just to see like Halloween type posts. Like, and then like around Christmas time, like Christmas type posts and then just things like that. Just continue with the, the holiday traditions and stuff. Because, I, I don't know, I like I like the holiday stuff. Because it's fun. To anyone that wanted a love eater without context. Lie down, try not to cry, cry a lot. So, are you, <laughs> first of all, this is funny. Second of all, I think this is talking about Marinette at the end. And, yeah, I can see that. Like, like I talked about earlier, I can see the fact of people getting emotional over Marinette. Because it was sweet at the end of the episode. And then Luca was there by her side, that was nice. But... Just, uh, Miracle Queen was just kind of a killjoy. So, uh, I, I, I really do hope Season 4 brings it back. Because right now I'm just kind of disappointed. And you know what? Maybe it is a good thing that the episodes were aired out of order. Because if Felix or Camp Law, well, preferably the one that ends last, if those episodes are good, then we're going to be happy again. If we ended on Miracle Queen, we would just be not as happy or hyped for the next season, I don't think. Because we would just end off with the like a mediocre episode that we were expecting more from, and then we would have just been sad for the entire hiatus that we would wait for. But now that we're ending with Felix or Campbella, like maybe we'll be excited for the next season because the episodes will be good. I'm, I'm especially excited for Campbella. Felix will be interesting, but Campbella definitely more so because it's been something that we've all been wanting to see for a while now. So it's gonna be fun, I think. Old friend. Aw, this is a very nice, well done version of Master Fu and then Waze. I talked about this sometime. I can't remember when I talked about this. But uh, it was. I talked about if Waze would be. Like, if he would still be out and about. Because Master Fu wore uh, Waze's Miraculous, or the Turtle Miraculous, on him constantly, so Waze was always out. So is he gonna continue to like continue to like stay out with Marinette or not? I, I don't know. I'm interested to see because like Waze might get sad if he's not with Marinette. I don't know. I, I guess it all depends on how Waze is. But I mean he will be with all the other Kwame, so we'll just have to see. Just one more meme. Me when I learned French to watch Miraculous early, but Miracle Queen airs in Ukrainian. <laughs> It was such a weird place to get it first, I think, and the dub wasn't even good. It, like, in my opinion, the dub just, like, I, I don't know. It just, it, it didn't make me feel engaged with the episode, because, like, Dragon Bug, watch out, it's a hallucination, or whatever. That's like what it sounded like. It sounded like all monotone, it didn't sound like they really cared, so... <laughs> when they were just saying it, it just kind of made me sad because I was like, man, 
this episode, first off, the episode itself wasn't super great. Second, the dub was not very good either. And <laughs> so just together just didn't make for an overall good experience. <laughs> so overall, just this whole finale just kind of was bad. Bad experience on both ends. Ho, oh, I feel right now. How? The Miraculous Ladybug fandom waiting for Felix and Campala be like. And then it's just Kermit waiting about. Yeah. I seriously hope that... Because I just came to that realization that maybe it's a sign. Maybe it was a good thing that the episodes were out of order. Well, specifically just Miracle Queen. Because we wouldn't be ending on a Killjoy episode. We'd be ending on hopefully a better episode. I hope that we get Felix and then Campalon, because I feel like Campalon is going to be a little bit better than Felix. I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like that's what's going to happen. So I hope that we get Felix first, and then Campalon second, except for I think the way that it's scheduled right now, we're supposed to get Campalon first. But, I don't know. I'm just... I just hope that we're not disappointed from these two episodes, so that we're at least not ending the season on a bad note. Because that actually would be pretty bad, I think. So, I'm glad I came to that realization. Yay. We know who the real villain is. Artist Instagram is La Queen Noir. Oh, it's the goose thing again. You guys told me it was some sort of, it was like a game where the goose goes around and just like steals stuff and causes havoc. And I, I, I guess I get it now. So like the goose is taking the miracle box from Master Fu. He's like, oh no. So then does he get it back? And then, and then everything that happened in Love Eater happens? I don't know. We'll just... I, I mean... Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. <laughs> and for the top post of the week, this is gold. Laughing emoji. It better be gold. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. It's only a four second long clip, so we'll watch it. Oh, there's no audio either. Wait, 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 wait. What'd that say? Man, it's just a friend. <laughs> oh, this is funny. And then he just throws it. <laughs> Uh, is there a caption that says, like, this is the fandom? <laughs> he just throws it away. That is good. That's funny. <laughs> uh, this is a good post to end off on. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this week. If you enjoyed, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this coming with you next week on Miraculous Monday. If you enjoyed, I already said that. I do that so much. I repeat myself. I also lean over towards here a lot. I've been working on that, and I know, like, I still tend to, like, do this a little bit and start to talk in. It's just out of habit, because usually when I'm recording videos, I get all close to it like this and do some weird, like, ASMR stuff. But, like, when I'm just here, like, it feels more natural for me to be next to the microphone. But uh, anyway, time to end this video. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. A date of yours is bad news, but don't worry. You'll be safe with me. That puts my mind at ease.